It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to show you the full unboxing and setup of the Blade Beer Dispenser. So without further ado, let's get it open. So first of all, there's five boxes that turned up today and the delivery driver was like, oh, that's all I'm delivering at the moment because, you know, there's a pandemic going about and nobody can have a pint in the pub. So people are resorting to different things. So they're buying beer machines. This thing weighs an absolute ton. It really does. It comes with five boxes, two kegs, one beer and Marathi, one Heineken. They're eight litre kegs. It came with, this is box two, and we gotta unbox in a moment. And then that's just a box of glasses that came with the machine because originally the plan, the idea, was to sell this to kind of like cafe bars and small, very small restaurants to sit on the counter to, to, to serve pints of beer. So it's a bit of an industrial machine. But of course, with the pubs closed, people are now resorting to buying these machines. So I thought I would pick one up. So you squeeze these little plastic things to open the box. lift Ooh. right we'll chuck that over there for now now all this stuff everywhere yeah right I imagine this this lifts it really does weigh Right. There we go. There's the plug. <laughs> Little wrestle. That box is now oh, empty. I can chuck that over there. And here is the kit. There just wouldn't have been the room in the kitchen to do this unboxing today so I thought I'd do it in the conservatory so <laughs> that could stay like that for a moment so what we have is the main it looks really nice is that the oh so we got some gauges we all like gauges so we got a temperature gauge. We have how much beer is left in your keg, a lock and an unlock switch, and a light as well. So that's that. Ah, here is the drip tray. We'll have a look at that in a moment. some clips of, of, of some sort. We'll have a look at that in a moment as well. I think that's the actual, might be the tap handle. And the destructions. So eventually that's what it's gonna look like with a nice big dome on the top. So, shall we show you the dome? All right, I need my knife for this one. <laughs> Look at this. And this is a plastic. So the keg obviously sits in this part here. It looks a bit like do the old fashioned light bulbs, the not the screw top light bulbs, but the bayonet. Remember the old bayonet light bulbs? It looks like it's a bit of a kind of a bayonet system going on in there. That sits on top. And this is your beautiful, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it. 
Right, so what I'm gonna quickly do now, I'm gonna read the instructions very quickly, and I'll be back in a moment. Right, reading the instructions, here we go then. So we have the tap handle. This goes, this clicks in here, like so. Push it in, far as it'll go. And then you have a little grubber screw that tightens, tightens that down. There we go, that's tight. And then that screws into the top of there. And there you have your tap. So I think you can buy different types of tap handles. You might be able to buy a Bira Moretti one or a Tiger one or, you know, like pimping your, there we are, there's your handle. Pimping your ride, so to speak. So, that's that. Here's the drip tray. Looks like it clicks into position. Oh, that is really, that is really nice. Let me, let me move the camera for you a little bit so you can see. There you go, there's the drip tray itself. It clicks, clicks into position. That should do. And now we're gonna grab, I'm gonna plug it in, I think. I think that's a nice job, plug it in. Plugged in. Yep, she's lit up. So, next stage is obviously the keg. I'm gonna open a beer of Moretti up. Um, I think I reviewed the Heineken with my, so the Krebs are subcompact. So we're gonna, Rip and tear at this box a little bit. Grab ourselves a keg. Ooh. Right, another box out of the way. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, and here's the keg. Here's the keg, oh, fresh. It's eight liters, so I don't want to drop it, it's quite heavy. Eight liters of beer and Moretti. And what do we have here then? We have the nozzle. That comes out of there. So there's the nozzle. Looks like that comes off there. Get a shot of that. It's a bit like, it's very much like the subcompact, but more of a, definitely more of a kind of like a, I right, so, so basically you've got a channel now. So can you see that channel? That orange channel. That's where your line fits into. So obviously... Oh, hang on a moment. It's saying to push. Let me read the instructions. It's saying to push. One second. Let me read the instructions. I'll be back with you. Chuck that over there. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so it's easy enough. You just literally, as they mentioned here, I'm being very careful not to shake this up too much. You just push down with a bit of weight. There we are, that's clicked in. And as I mentioned earlier, grab hold of it. Make sure the line don't jam anywhere. Exactly not how I'm doing it. Maybe try and put the line in the feed a little bit. There we go. So you're not jamming the line. Yeah, that's, that looks good. That looks good. That clicks into there. Clicks into there. And there's your tap. There's your beer tap. That goes up over the top. Sits into position. And there you have it. There you have it. There's a power switch on the side. Which was already on. And now we wait for it to cool down. Oh. 
there we go so it was on the unlock position now it's locked okay we've just locked it down with a lock it's got a nice light on the top so it's cooling our beer how difficult is it to fit the top does that just slide on I think that just yeah, I just think that just sits on like that. There we go. The blade. I'm sweating out doing this. <laughs> it's, it's boiling hot today. That's a look at the blade. Beer dispenser. We're going to wait for it to hit the right temperature. Currently saying it's warm. Uh, we'll leave it for a few hours now. Let it cool down. And we'll come back for a well-deserved pint. Okay, so the fan has been going for about 45 minutes. I'm really impressed though. You're supposed to put the keg in the fridge for 24 hours before you even put it into the machine. But because of reviewing purposes, I just put it straight in as it arrived. And it's already, after 45 minutes to an hour, it's already down to the correct temperature, which I'm really impressed with. So without further ado, guys, And this is the first beer. Notice the difference. I like my little sub machine. My little Krupster sub compact. I like it, I really like it. But look at the difference in that. You know, okay, you've got a bit of a head there, but that's the first pull off this machine. Very impressed with that beautiful carbonation on this Moretti. Four finger white head. We'll let it, let it settle down and we'll come back to you in a moment for a review. Okay, so here is the beer. Didn't take long at all. Nice glass of beer, good levels of carbonation. It looks absolutely fantastic. And I can see, I can really see why people are buying these machines because they want a pub pint. I quite like Moretti. It's an all right beer. It's something nice and cold to drink in the summertime. So. Uh, clear looking beer, as you would expect, good aroma. You can smell the aroma from this distance away, but it's a clean, crisp. Lovely hoppy aroma to it. A slightly kind of spicy, kind of almost, almost kind of German Czech aroma to it. But this will be Beer de Moretti straight from the factory this will be this won't be the beer of Moretti we get in the UK in the bottles this will be the beer of Moretti that they brew for the pubs and that's the reason why people are buying these machines so let's dive in beautiful cold beer beautiful cold beer it looks I mean look at it it looks like a pub pint, doesn't it? Great head, great carbonation, great lacing on the glass. 4.6% ABV. Have a look as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see small carbonation there. That's always a sign of a, a decently brewed beer. I'm going to enjoy this. And the reason why I bought it, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, it's eight liters, eight liters. And as I mentioned earlier, I spoke to the, the driver and he was saying um, he's been delivering these all of the time. It's all people seem to be buying this. So more or less sold out on the Blade Shops website. I purchased this machine out of my own money. It's not a, a sponsored video by any means. I think the fan will eventually cool down, stop, slow down when it gets into temperature. It's working quite hard at the moment, but again, it's been an hour and it's cooled my beer down. Now, I've been speaking to an online retailer. Um, I don't mind saying it. I've been speaking to Beerwolf and they're actually asking people 
what blade tops or would they be interested to purchase blade craft beer tops because at the moment in the UK at least you can buy Tiger, Heineken, Moretti and I think there might be one other beer I mean this this beer of Moretti I went for it because um, I, I don't mind a pint of beer of Moretti I've got family in Italy and when I visit Italy and there's nothing kind of else to drink I know I like this so I'll drink a pint of this or two or three or four or five I know what I'm getting Cr clean crisp refreshing lager beautiful hot summer's day today this has arrived just in time for summer as I mentioned we're in lockdown so no chance of a pub pint this is the next best best thing I paid including VAT it was about 425 pound for this machine but it's really stylish it's a really stylish bit of kit and I think I'm going to use it quite a lot and I think the more people who invest in this type of system whether it's a Krups the subcompact whether it's a blade machine or a Philips perfect draft the more people that buy the machines and buy the kegs I believe the more the price of the beer will eventually come down so that's a quick look then at the unboxing setup and, and drink along of the blade beer dispenser crisp clean cold lager all ready for summer for me this is a good kind of start pilsner style beer nice kind of bitterness on the back end nice balance with the sweetness of the the light malts in there a decent beer i'm happy with my purchase i'm giving this a hug um it looks a bit like a dalek don't it <laughs> except you can change the dalek head yeah i'm happy i'm happy overall so far good quality machine and i think it'll sit up there as well on my i've not measured anything but i think it'll sit up on my shelf as well it's not as big as i i th first thought it'll be sideways on up there with a drip tray but i think it'll fit for me i'm happy i'm happy it's a nine out of ten nine out of ten from real Ale craft beer if we can get craft brewers now involved with this machine Perch and, and all the different kegs come out, start coming out for this machine. It'll be perfect, absolutely perfect. Can you imagine some really lovely eight liters, eight liters of some kind of lovely Belgian blonde, or a Belgian triple, or even some IPA? That would be the next logical step, I think, for this machine. Let's wait and see. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!